Hey guys, King of Charmanders here, and today I bring to you the best Silver Rathalos weapon builds for all weapon types. The Critical Element Meta. So this video features the best builds using the Silver Rathalos weapons. And Silver Rathalos weapons are the strongest fire element in the game. They're so powerful thanks to the new Critical Element Meta skill, where Silver Rathalos weapons get two levels at grade eight. First, we're gonna start off with the top five Silver Rathalos weapons melee builds. Now as you see right here, the top build has critical element maxed out at level 5. The top build also uses critical eye and critical boost to increase crit chance and damage. Now here's the thing, this makes sense because in order for critical element to proc, you need to land a critical hit. And when you go into Drismal builds, after you max out elemental attack level 5, it's usually a combination of critical eye plus weakness exploit that wins the drift smell battle. Because you want to crit more. But this is also really interesting because fire attack level 5 used to be the standard. Now critical element plus critical chance and damage is the meta. If anyone's telling you to do otherwise, they probably have no idea what they're talking about. They didn't do their homework. Also looking into it, I think there was a thing where I read that critical element only applies towards your weapon's critical element. It actually doesn't factor in when you add more into it with fire attack. But then again, you wouldn't want to factor it in anyways because like I mentioned before, the standard before is to give you more crit chance along with your elemental attack. We're just replacing elemental attack with critical element. And this brings us to the best Silver Rathalos melee build, where this build maxed out critical element at level 5. And this build does the most theoretical practical damage overall at 4740. Lock-on is also provided by the Carnival 2024 mail. You're gonna need to use the Carnival 2024 mail Unfortunately, because it's the only thing in the body that does give you lock-on. You could replace it with Odogarin, but you lose lock-on. That's the problem. So, the Carnival 2024 mail, unfortunately, as a, it's actually not even expensive, to be honest. If you watch my video on building that thing, it's mad easy to build the Carnival 2024 mail to grade 8. So, don't worry about it. This build also gives you critical eye level 4 and weakness exploit level 1. Giving you 80% total affinity when using a grade 10 Silver Rathalos weapon and attacking weak spots. And even if you're not attacking weak spots, it will give you 60% affinity and is still going to proc at a pretty high rate. Anything over half, half is still going to give you a lot of damage per experience using the weapons myself. And here's the how to. Next, we move on to the ranged weapons, and here we have the top five Silver Rathalos Light Bogum builds, and we're going to compare them to each other. So, as you see, in per, per comparison, when you put everything together, the top build that doesn't use Fighting Spirit has Critical Element level 5 maxed out. We're not going to count Fighting Spirits here because it's very conditional and it's not consistent. So when you put the Sims together and you populate them, what average damage you get is a theoretical one. So it's theoretically determined if it's consistent, etc. So you have to take consistency into account. If it's Fighting Spirit and the monster attacks you a lot, you're probably not going to get a lot of hits in because you're going to dodge damage. So that means that is not going to be super consistent. Despite this, the data will still support that it's the highest damage just because of all things considered. But in order to offset that, you need to make sure that you have something that's consistent, which is why we are using this one right here. It also has reload speed and recoil down maxed out to maximize DPS. And even from the top, it's not that bad. It's only 2.25 per 29% lower without using Fighting Spirit. And this brings us to the best Silver Rathalos Light Bogan build. So this build maxed out critical element at level 5. And this build does the most theoretical practical damage without fighting spirit at 4812. In addition, this build is the most consistent and does the most damage without any other conditional requirements like fighting spirit. I already went over that so I'm not going to go over it again. It also uses reload speed and recoil down level 3 to maximize your damage per second or DPS. This build also gives you 50% total affinity when using a great 10 Silver Rathalos weapon and attacking weak spots. And it will give you 30% affinity when you aren't attacking weak spots. To use this build for you light bowgun connoisseurs like myself, you need the Silver Rathalos light bowgun at grade 10 or higher, the Silver Rathalos helmet at grade 8, the Palumu male at grade 6, the Legion of Ambraces at grade 6, the Coral Puke Puke Coil at Grade 6, and the Silver Rathalos Greaves at Grade 8. And last but not least, we have the Top 5 Silver Rathalos Bow Builds. So here we compare the Top 5 builds of the Silver Rathalos Bow. 
And the top build uses latent power level 2. The top build that doesn't use latent power level 2 uses critical element at level 3. However, I put one in here so you saw the manual input because yes, if you know how to use monsterhunternow.quest, you know how to input stuff manually. And I put the critical element level 5 I placed here because this is the drift smelt base build if you're looking to go after the best one. So again, it's the best drift smelt build for the base if you're looking to drift smelt and max out this baby and have a full drift smelt build with it. So I'm going to have three builds in here reflecting all three of these and you can decide which one you want to go after. All right, first we're going to start off with the best Silver Rathalus bow, build number one. And this build maxes out Critical Element at level five. This build also does the most theoretical practical damage with latent power at 5,779. However, this build requires latent power level two to activate to be consistent. And that's provided by the Silver Rathalus Vambraces at grade six. So yeah, you're going to need three pieces of Silver Rathalus gear if you want to use this. And it also has Focus Level 5 thanks to Nightshade Palumu Mail and Rajang Coil. However, here's a note. This is the most expensive build out of all the Silver Atlas bow builds with 4 pieces requiring Grade 8. So you need 4 pieces at Grade 8. So unless you have someone that's really invested, well, that's me and probably many of you as well if you're looking to go after this as the biggest one. But yeah, Grade 8 is a definitely a lot to ask for. But if you are willing to go after it, to use this build, you need the Silver Rathalos Bow at Grade 10 or higher, the Silver Rathalos Helmet at Grade 8, the Nightshade Palomu Mail at Grade 8, the Silver Rathalos Van Braces at Grade 6, the Rajan Coil at Grade 8, and the Silver Rathalos Greaves at Grade 8. Next up, we have the best Silver Rathalos Bow build number 2, and this build uses Critical Element at level 3. With the second most theoretical practical damage without latent power at 5,670. So this one doesn't have a conditional skill. And if you really want to, since you're probably going to build it anyways, if you're watching this video and you want to go after this and you're playing the Monster Hunter Now Carnival Global Event, you can use the Carnival 2024 mail in place of the Odo Garen mail if you want to. However, you need it at grade 8 and the Odo Garen mail only needs to be at grade 6. But, ironically, the Carnival Mail is actually cheaper than the Odo Garen Mail if you're looking at to build it for the first time. It also has Focus Level 5 thanks to the Nightshade Palumu Mail and Rajang Coil. Now this build gives you 65% total affinity when using a Grade 10 Silver Rathalos weapon and attacking weak spots. It will also give you 45% affinity when you aren't attacking weak spots. If you want to use this build, you need the Silver Rathalos Bow at Grade 10 or higher, the Azerathos Helmet at Grade 6, the Odo Garen Mail at Grade 6, the Azerathos Vambraces at Grade 6, the Rajan Coil at Grade 8, and the Silver Rathalos Greaves at Grade 8. And now we have the last Silver Rathalos Bow Bill at number 3, the best one, and this build maxes Critical Element to level 5. This build is barely weaker than the top build, 3.27 to be exact, and this build's theoretical practical damage is at 5,590, without any conditional skills like latent power. However, the big reason I highlight this build is because if you are going after the Drift Smell build, this is the base build for it. So the best Drift Smell build, I'm going to release that video soon, but for the Drift Smell weapons, yes, you want this. And it is awkward because you're using Critical Boost, which is the Azerathos Van Braces. But it, again, even if you're not using the fully powered one, 3.27 isn't going to make a magnificent difference if you're testing it out. I've tested both out, and honestly... If you're going for full just melt, use this one. Don't worry about the whole like difference between 3.27%. For this build, you need the Silver Rathalos Bow at grade 10 or higher, Silver Rathalos Helmet at grade 8, the Nightshade Palumu Mail at grade 8, the Azerathos Van Braces at grade 6, the Rajan Coil at grade 8, and the Silver Rathalos Greaves at grade 8. And that's exactly how you're going to feel when you use this weapon, blazing through your opponents with flame and power. And hopefully this helps you out with the Silver Rathalos build you are looking to go after. I will be looking to review the Dual Blades build in its separate video as it has Poison Exploit along with Critical Element. So, I'm a Dual Blades main in the main series, I love the Dual Blades, but it has something unique to it. So I'm going to cover that in a separate video. 
With that being said, please do me a huge favor. Like, subscribe, and comment for the YouTube algorithm. Good luck on your grinds. Hopefully, you're all excited for Global to come out so that you can finally make your Silver Rathalos weapons. But you're going to have to go pretty dang hard in order to get them at grade 10 or higher. Good luck on your grinds, and I will see you all on the next video.